New series on the block that everyone's talking about. Rana Naidu has taken the country by storm. And here on this India Today special with me, Navila, is the entire team of Rana Naidu. First, we have our own Desi Ray Donovan, aka Rana Naidu, aka Rana Dagobati, joining us here in the studio. We also have, of course, the beautiful, lovely Sarveen Chawla, whose role has been really a breakthrough in the series. And <coughs> the makers of this amazing project, Suparn and Kalir Anshuman, joining us here at the studios. Thank you very much, all of you, and a big congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In the studio. Let me take the first question. Why Rana Naidu? Why Rana Naidu? As in, why the title or yeah, why the yeah. show? Yeah, why the title around <laughs> Rana Dagupati? They've well, somehow managed to retain your maiden name. Uh, I can imagine, maybe because of the popularity you have. Yeah, I, I actually thought it was a working title for the longest time. Mm -hmm. So this usually happens in Telugu. Every time we have a script and they don't have a character's name, they just use... They put the actor's name, actor's the number of the film and, and keep, keep going. Keep going right? I thought it's one of those yeah. till it didn't. It was real. <laughs> so it's very meta for me in many, many ways, this show. That's it's also great. just a powerful name. It can't yeah. get better than that. Yeah, we just wanted a very uh, sort of, you know, something that was set a high standard. <laughs> Very exalted, and I just looked up, and there's Rana <laughs> at six three. I was like, let's just call it Rana. <laughs> as expected, as expected. But whose idea was it to name it Rana Naidu? Rana. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. And as this, and as this contract so, said, if the show is not called Rana, I'm not on board. <laughs> Supan being the docile guy would okay, have said, okay, okay I agree with this? what you say. I, no think, I, I think I'd say 90% no I believe what Rana is saying. No, yes, I saw you off screen. Six foot four, I you off of screen. a man. When he talks, we listen. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, Ray Donovan, that's, that's almost the character that you've essayed to perfection mm. in this series. We see that the series now is on the top of the top 10 list on Netflix. Uh, how difficult was it for Rana to essay that character, which was so well received by the masses? Uh, well, uh, see, one, this is the first time I'm doing a show, anything long form, anything b beyond two and a half hours. This was the first time I got it. It's, it was much more harder than I thought it was because uh, I just never understood character graphs that can be so long. I'm yeah. always an actor who's been in 60 or 80 scenes and here suddenly you have to be in 300 of them. So that, long, that length was the only confusing part. but. I started growing to really like and enjoy it because there was no way I could explore a character this deep, mm -hmm. this dark. He's called Rana, but it's actually the exact opposite of what Rana is in terms of uh, his understanding of family or a personality itself. But are you like him in real life at no, all? No, 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 I'm not like him really. There's, well, if you just take the idea of a problem solver, I like solving problems. Yeah, I was just that, that much. But then in the sense of the legal world and uh, <laughs> uh, the family drama that I understand is like a happy South Indian joint family that's... But like your Telugu films. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's what I get. But here I met these two gentlemen that <laughs> just so turned the dark general, side on me. Tell us about your journey in this series. How did you come on board? You know, your character also is a pretty amazing one with such a growth through the entire series. Yes, yes. So, um, I remember I'd seen Ray Donovan long ago and... Uh, Karan actually brought this idea to me mm. and uh, he he really, 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 really wanted me to play uh, Nena and I think I went along with his conviction um, because in a lot of ways I feel like, so in the past I've had all the parts that I've played across yeah. my career where I I kind of relate to them more than 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 I find. I would probably find the dissimilarities between mm -hmm. me. So here was a part where I had fewer points of similarity, but far more um, uh, in terms of her personality and where she is in her life and the kind of choices she's made and the kind of sacrifice. So I felt like there was a disconnect there, and that yeah. kind of drew me. It pushed to, you. Yeah, it pushed me to do something that I probably, while playing Nana, would have to convince myself for. And I think that was the 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 challenge that I really wanted to take mm -hmm. up. And of course, Karan was extremely convinced that I would be able to do justice. And I hope I have. And you, you know, did. Nabila also was yeah, saying I, she I loved your look. The look of uh, you know the several looks that you essay the. Uh, 
the series itself. You, you look so stunning, and you know, really. You know, I should not be, be taking be, that being compliment. Being a model <laughs> has has really nothing to do with how stunning you are and Thank how you. stunning you look. Thank crashing you. But all I think the that credit has You've to go to all stereotypes. Oh. Thank you. Uh, crushed it rather. Thank you. Uh, and Thank so, Reed, from, from where you started, hate story, the meaty roles that you got post that, usually we see women, glamorous women being typecast. But I think even there you've set your precedence. I think I did go through a phase where I kind of felt like I'm getting boxed. And that's when I started to feel like, okay, you know what, now was a time to say uh, more no's than yeses. And that eventually, now where I'm at, I think that message has been pretty loud and clear from my end, not intentionally, but it has so happened that when I'm thought of, I'm thought of for something as, as Nena yeah. or as meaty or um, um, I, and, I, and, I, and I think I I've kind of have Somewhere I feel like I have crossed that no, have, that bridge sure. where I I would I would not want to repeat a part or I would not re want to repeat an experience as an actor that I've had on set playing a part anymore. Mm. And um, well, I try my best to kind of. Um, She's just being humble. It's all. No, I agree. It's, I have it's to her agree. talent. Just, it's her agree. talent <laughs> and her <laughs> range. <laughs> Uh, this is the part where we all say no, no, <laughs> come on. You know, yeah. but saying more no's than yeses, that's, that's really, a, it's quite a tricky uh, place that you are in at this point. When you want to see your career thrive, you don't know where to say no and what to say yes to. But I, I think you've made your choices right. With, uh, with I don't Rana know, actually, actually uh, there then came a time when I, when I started doing that, there came a time when roles actually pick you more than it's the other <laughs> way around. I, I truly believe that. They, it, it truly does happen that way. Lady your your chemistry huh? with, with the Lady Rana Dhanupati. Like you're choosing making the right choices again and again. Good karma. <laughs> Being attracted. <laughs> for sure. For so, sure. Reed's chemistry with Rana uh, in Rana Naidu. Real and real, both actually, we'd like to hear. You, you, my oh, you, yeah, you're yeah. looking at you. I don't know. Yeah. I look at you. It's right. right. a question of both, I think. <laughs> yeah, both. Yeah. So why do you start? I think we hit it off, we've hit it off really well from day one, sure. if I may say so. And uh, we may had some great conversations. We chatted a lot, and uh, Rana agrees, right? Rana yes, yes, is I agree. a. <laughs> Rana, <laughs> there was silence from this end. So this whole this whole image that you have of this six feet six feet three four <laughs> is Gosh. is nothing like who Rana is really um, as know. this. Person. He's a lamb. Rana, don't you agree with me? He's no, he's nothing like. He's Rana nothing, Naidu. Absolutely not. And, and the chemistry was absolute dynamite. I mean, you should ask us because we were witnessing it as it was happening. And it, it's very <laughs> rare to actually see this. It's, you know, contrary to popular belief, it's, hmm. it's always rare to have your two leads like getting along like fire. You know, very organically. Yeah, okay. very organically on camera and even like in those bits which are off, uh, you know, while you're prepping for the shoot day or, yeah. you know, or in rehearsals. So all that came across wonderfully and I'm so glad that we were there to witness it and see that magic sparkle and take it well beyond the script. Fun I think what highlight. was also yeah. tricky, uh, you, you want to say no, something? No, 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 I'm very I think what, <laughs> was, what was tricky? <laughs> I think tricky. what was tricky was that we were playing a couple who's probably spent 15, 18 years together and that's where yeah. the show starts. Yeah, yeah. So to kind of yeah. convince ourselves and the audiences that this couple really has been so through life, elements. through yeah. life with two kids, life happening to them together, and that's your takeoff point. So, so we've, we've spoken about Nana. Yeah. 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 We've spoken about Rana, Naga Naidu, Venkatesh Garu. Yes. We really wish she was here with us. I, know. I really wish she had joined us. But how did that come along? Because you know, when I see Telugu films, when I see Venkatesh Garu, his image is very different from what you see in Rana yes, Naidu. Yes. So why is it, Suparan, that you felt? he fits in perfectly for this series. Because when I saw it, and I saw this transformation, I could no longer remember the Venkatesh Garu that I know. How did he come into this series? So I think, honestly, Rana is the one uh, luckily responsible for it. Because when he decided to come on board, he shared the show with Venki sir, who was ready to do something unique hmm. and different and hmm. break all images that he had done before, hmm. number one. And because he was excited by it and he came on board, it gave a layer that Karan and I were discussing earlier to the character of Naga Naidu, which is the original is, you know, you know he's a badass. Yeah. With Naga, you end up loving him and keep questioning yourself, You're should I be hating him or loving yeah, him? Yeah. And that's the magic of Venkatesh Garu. 
who uh, brings it with his image and then plays around with your mind he is not doing very good things at times no so yeah i agree the chemistry that we spoke about over both of you the chemistry of rana and nagan i do something i found very interesting he's your uncle yes yeah. and then you have to translate that into a father son relationship and one way you hate him yes correct <laughs> So just to continue with what Super said, I think uh, Mankul also was in a time where he wanted to reinvent, mm. and uh, like you said, this is the image that you have of him. What's <laughs> that? Uh, like there's an image that you have of him where most stories it's like a kind, perfect family, yeah, yeah, you know, and yeah. And see, most stories are revolving around that, and for him as Correct. an actor, he really wanted to reinvent and do something new, and I think this is what we got. And also, uh, as long as as long as both of us were trying to put a film together. We didn't want to do things of the cliche. Like mm -hmm. usually, when uh, somebody is related in a in the entertainment world, there's a very standard cliche that kind of gets in. So we wanted to cross them, and I feel like we really crossed a lot of cliches <laughs> in this. <laughs> but has the dynamic changed now between the two of you no, after no, playing father son and that to this kind of a father son? Well, it's uh, I, I guess it's the most in entertaining, no, as actors, and this is what for we sure. live for to do <laughs> things that we can do in real life or we that we don't understand in real life. I think for both me and him, who are part of a joint family that's fully all the time happy together and doing things, this was uh, a way to break the yeah, ice yeah, or break away from your comfort. Break away from this comfort. You know, I have that question uh, to Karan. Uh, now, South really is the flavor, all right? With Triple R winning the Oscars for Best Original Song, and you had a lot more coming from the South, mm. uh, breaking records on global platforms. Uh, you had Venkatesh, you have Rana Dagupati in a series called Rana Naidu. Was there, a, was there a theme before you roll the series out that you want to predominantly feature people from the South? Because that's possibly the Yes, I think uh, we are in sort of in the business of, you know, this uh, of sort of predicting trends in terms of what's happening and what's new. I have always consistently tried to sort of preempt. Yeah. And uh, when we started writing this series, which took a, took about six months to put together with uh, five other, with four other writers, it was uh, you know we, I, th I think the idea of uh, bringing in the flavor from the south and sort of melding it into something larger and more pan India that. Of course, Rana has a lot of experience with yeah. uh, from before, but in the series space, I thought this was something new that we could try, and uh, we just sort of, uh, you know, went straight with it and into it. And, and was Rana your first choice? I, 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 I can't. I wouldn't doubt. See, it all sort of happened together, where Rana and uh, Venki sir and you know our producer, it all sort of happened all at the same time. Where I also came on board around the same time, so. Hmm. It, you know, one it, thing it that made headlines nicely. about this series, Karan and Superan, is uh, there was a lot of talk about whether it's a bit too out there. Uh, you know, there were questions about whether this is vulgar, whether it's offensive, etc. Were you a little worried about that, that you would offend the quintessential conservative Indian? So two things. One, from day one of promotions, we have been saying this is a family show which you do not watch with your family. It is an A-rated show, number two. <laughs> and uh, the fact is this, that the class of characters shown in the show, the place where they're coming from, this is how they would speak authentically. Uh, you know, uh, OTT platforms uh, by nature make different things for different people. Agreed. Not, it's not the same, you know, size fits all. So this is an adult show made for an adult audience indicated from day one by us and we never mean to offend we always mean to entertain and that's been our goal from day one we are not here to create controversy we are not here to offend anybody uh, we want to tell you stories which go for the heart and Rahan Naidu the I mean now that people have seen the show we can actually openly talk about it it addresses a very you know deep emotional issue of child abuse hmm. in our show yeah. in a very sensitive manner and it takes you into the layers of characters who are broken and into a family that's dysfunctional and there's a reason for it. Hmm. And we go into those stories. So bottom line is we never mean to sensationalize. And I mean, we are proud of the kind of storytelling that we're getting, getting to do in the age of the golden age of storytelling. So, you know, it's the best Versus, time to be. You, you spoke of golden age of storytelling. Absolutely. I think with OTT, you have artists thrown out there from different backgrounds without any, um, you know, movie, uh, yeah. a godfather backing him or her in the industry. And yet with sheer finesse of art, uh, are achieving great heights through OTT. And Rana is known to really uh, toy with different streams. Yes. I know you were doing animation during the COVID period. Yes, I sir. did speak to you. We had that <laughs> yes. interview there and you said you were into animation. But OTT 
Preeti Rana for a big, big star like you. And when we talk about Southern stars, they have a huge mass following. Uh, so much so that a lot of them hesitate in venturing into OTT because they feel their commercial uh, releases or success might take a beating. But for you, it, it seemed quite seamless. It, this, this was the next see, step, was it? See, that's how I built my entire career. My career was built on things that others weren't doing or things that others thought were risky to do. Uh, it started right from my first film when I did a film that didn't have songs or action sequences that you normally have in a Telugu film. It continued to me doing films in other languages where, which was not uh, a president before I was, I was in. So I think everything that I did, there was a first time to it and I think I kind of enjoy that. Like Karan said, it's, it's fun to catch the trend before everybody yeah. sees it. And uh, yeah, like I was talking about Pan India 10, 13 years ago, nobody even understood what I was trying to say and today everyone is part of that same bad guy. Essentially, if you look at it, you've started it. Yeah, 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 I was just 13 years ago in Bombay trying to say, here you go, you can make a film. <laughs> and I know people who recognize you from uh, yeah. <laughs> Bollywood uh, in yeah. compared to what your uh, presence was from the South. But you are a superstar in Telugu, in Telugu thank cinema. You, you. Today it's Telugu is all over. Working, so <laughs> today Telugu is all over. Yes, that's really... How would you appreciate a lot of your, uh, you know, co-stars? I mean, uh, those stars from the Telugu industry itself who are achieving great feat. Well, I think Telugu is a place where we've, all, where we've always been pushing boundaries, whether it's with scale, with story, or the kind of content that we make. And I just feel uh, the, the narrative of India is now much better than what it used to be, where each of the other states and regions understand one another and are very accepting, and they've kind of found that middle ground of actually being Indians, right? Very true. Earlier, it was somebody from Delhi and Chennai. There's no connect in terms of what we speak, how we connect, but today there is OTT, there is the web, there is all of that that's kind of transcending well. So I think it's a good time. You know, on that note, uh, yes. Surveen, for an artist, this is the best time, honestly, to experiment, to go out there, to try different content, because you have so many avenues, as we discussed, how OTT is really a game changer, and also because is the audience more accepting? Because you don't see language barriers as much. You don't see issues with, you know, who is acting in it, who's the big star, etc. It's all about one issue, which is the story, which is the script. Do you think that's how right now things are shaping up in the industry and that's why it's the perfect time and the best time for an artist to experiment? Absolutely. I, I, I think your, your, your line of rest restriction, of course, there is... Uh, uh, respectfully so censorship but i feel like that 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 line of limitation mm. is is much farther than than where it used to be see ODD as a as 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 a platform is for your writers for your actors for your directors you see new age content happening which unfortunately because of obviously commercial reasons also is something that is not probably achievable yet on the the 70 mm and I think which is why OTT lays that, lays that ground and the opportunity and yeah. gives scope for that kind of content coming from those, uh, 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 you know, uh, separate kind of uh, areas come along. And uh, I think there's more than enough for everybody uh, on OTT and you obviously have a parallel um, so Stream content, time. content yeah. streaming yeah. happening other than... <coughs> You know, the, uh, this particular series, Rana Naido Karan, uh, you've been very open in saying that, you know, it's a remake of Ray Donovan. Uh, but when you actually went about making it in the process of doing so, how did you ensure that this would be a series that people could relate to? That this is something that people would say that, hey, it can happen in India. So you had to take the story of Ray yeah. Donovan and then tweak it, obviously, so Indian audiences would Yeah, I would it. say uh, way more than tweak. It's, it's really a, Transform it. an, an adaptation which is transformative in many ways. See, we, the writing team uh, uh, and I, we watched it once and then we were like, okay, we get a sense of it, we have a sense of characters, where they are starting, where they are going and we liked some of the high points and then we just put that aside mm -hmm. and we started building it from the ground up. What I really find interesting about Rana Naidu is that I feel the story, the original story lends itself to India even better than, than it does to say when it is set in America. There you have a family traveling from Boston to LA, but here, you know, the, just the cultural change that comes yeah. from from uh, the south to, to to Bombay is far greater. Yeah, that's the beauty of India. So. Right, and even within Bombay, just the extremities that you're dealing with, whether it's the slums of the Arabi or whether it is, uh, you know, the the hundredth floor of a high rise that 
a penthouse at uh, the, you know the <laughs> <laughs> in one word yes <laughs> <laughs> so so it just the, there's so much more to mine there story wise and and you know we just made it our own completely very you true know, i have a question for rana though i mean and and, and going drawing you back to the kind of success that southern stars have seen today rana uh, like i said the mass following that each south star has it almost borderlines rivalry uh, Ram Charan has his own following. You have Junior NTR who has his own following. But look at the Bonhomi that we saw. Uh, incredible. And, and I'd like to hear your take on Ram Charan's success today. We hear your great friends too. Well, uh, obviously, I'm as excited, it almost feels like it's mine. Whether it's He's your best Modi. friend, your childhood friend. <laughs> yeah, always. When we, I went, Charan and I went to school together, yeah. yes. Uh, no, but I mean, just the fact that that entire team of Triple R, I know all of them very, very personally. and. I just feel it's, they're the most deserving set and they've done something that is extremely solid. And what's even more beautiful is the fact that it's a song called Natu Natu, which is a yeah. Telugu song, which is not even trying to be global. It's a <laughs> local mass number, As which local, yeah. got the Oscars to wake up. I think it's it's really an amazing time for all of us to be here. When you saw it, did you think, uh, hey, Bahubali should have won this? <laughs> no, 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 no. So I think each one is made of a different time. So I think what Bahubali did is actually got the country together. Mm. India was together for the first time as a cinematic nation with Bahubali and uh, I think Triple R has just pushed that boundary to the next edge. Hey, so, you know, speaking of Bahubali that you mentioned, you spent so many years to uh, to play that role Bah in Bahubali to perfection, and now with OTT, you you just said you're seeing yourself in 300 frames and in, in a in a shorter time frame. Uh, so how how is it for you as an actor? How have you really evolved to uh, you, you know to match up to the times now ahead? Well. Uh, See, whether it's 50 years ago or 50 years from now, mm. the job of a, an actor will remain the same. It's to take life and to recreate it again. Mm. So whether I have to recreate a tyrant king for six years, whether I have to create a, a, a fixer in, in Bombay, whether it's a commander of a navy ship, doesn't matter. I think that's the beauty of our lives, right? We get to constantly live different characters each time. And uh, what the OTT does is just has that much more depth in each character that you play. You know, I, as, I, sorry. Yeah, a quick question to Supan. Uh, Supan, you know, as, as we see uh, the series Rana Naidu itself uh, topping the charts on OTT, do you, uh, we, I'd really like to ask you, do we really have crisis managers of such kind in Bollywood? I'm not too sure. Give us some inside gossip. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let me tell you one thing. India has crisis managers. Managers. Yeah. Not Bollywood though. <laughs> not, I mean, Bollywood is the least of them. Tollywood? Compared to, no, Our troubles are the least, least of the troubles. <laughs> the entertainment is the smallest of them all. If you could take things like politics, if you could take things like you're in Delhi. Are you asking me this question? Exactly, no, right? But we want to know what's I'm happening politics in, politics Bollywood, in Bollywood. Bollywood. We ask the questions. <laughs> the hall, we ask the questions. Well, I'm saying look around Delhi and then you'll find... <laughs> I mean, the halls of power have fixers which That's need nice problem way. solving. In Bollywood, problem solving is I need this actor's dates. <laughs> yes, no. I mean... Nothing like Rana Naidu, huh? No, no, no. He's Rana 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 Thankfully, Rana. yet, no. And I don't think we'll ever have that stage. It's a very professional industry. Uh, you know, we kind of dramatize it just for the sake of having fun yeah. and we are having fun with it. I mean, we are in the industry, but uh, end of the day, you have three to four hundred people on a daily basis on every set of a show or a film working 15 hours wow. on a bare minimum because a 12 hour shift, you have people coming three hours prior, your spot boys, your light men, your caterers start first, then the rest come 15 hours, then they go back home four or five hours of sleep. To churn out entertainment. That's the industry we are in. So, yeah, I mean, that's how serious a business is. Very true, very true. I've wow. run out of time, which is yeah. why I'm constantly interrupting. <laughs> uh, but just just a quick word to wrap up from all of you. Uh, so many out there have seen Rana Naidu season one. What can you expect from season two? Super, I'm starting with you. Madness, mayhem, and more entertainment. Yes, I like this. Three words each. Rana. Well, uh, so like you said, everyone's seen it. Uh, I hope we get enough data to from the ones who've seen it and Netflix to make sure we make a greater season two. That's it. Amazing. It had to be three words. Yes, I, that's yeah. a lot more of me. <laughs> Sorry, I'm taking one extra you. one. And, and why not? We'd love to see it. I'd like to see And the they award for best <laughs> answer goes to. <laughs> I think that okay. now that everyone's settled in, we are really going to amp things up yeah. in the second season. Okay, put your seatbelts on is the message here. <laughs> Thank you very much for Thank joining you. us Thank here at the you. India Today Thank studio. You. Congratulations Thank once again to all you. of you Thanks. on the success of Rana Naida. That's all we have time for. Thanks from me and Nabila.
If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.